Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step on how to do a screen replacement on a Dell XPX. As you can see that the impact point is on the top right corner and kind of pixelated and fuzzy screen the entire right column right here. So it says I have a battery in a critical low. Battery is critical low. Yep, my battery is dying. So let's go ahead and turn off the, uh, the computer. I'm pressing and holding down the power button and let the computer to be shut off. Uh, first of all, I would like to identify the model so you guys can follow along. And this is the model Dell XPX P82G. That is the model right here, uh, P82G. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I like to do is to disconnect the battery. Let's go ahead and find a T5 screwdriver. So this I'll be using a Torque T5. It's gonna remove the screws. I have to remove the back plate to get right into the battery. And again, if you're not sure where to buy the screen replacement from, or maybe the tools, please check the link down in the description below. I'll link it to either Amazon or eBay where you can find the replacement screen as well as the tool for this repair. So once I remove all the screws, and then you can just remove the back cover, like just pulling it straight up. Okay. Here you can see that the entire battery is at the bottom part here and the connector is connected to that. What you want to do is to slide it down, slide the connector down, and you just disconnect the battery. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn it around. And there are kind of two ways to replace the screen. You can replace the full assembly, meaning that the hinge and the cable, right? You have to remove it, and the entire top cover with the screen will be removed as well. Uh, my way of doing it is I try to save the money, do not replace the top cover. I'm going to reuse that, but I'm just going to go straight to that LCD screen. Here I have, I'll be using a metal prying tool. This is thin enough for me to go underneath that bezel. So the bezel is adhesive and glued down together. When you remove it, just be gentle. And we're gonna reuse the same glue to glue that bezel back afterwards. So right now I'm just running across the bezel. They have this adhesive, just tipping it down. Right here, just kind of cutting and separating that, that tape. Okay. All right, once the bezel is removed, I'm gonna put it on the side. And 
let's take a look at the LCD here. It looks like this laptop has been repaired in the past because I do see that the the tape is not an original tape from um, Dell. All right, so if you notice, if you pay a close attention to it, okay, uh, the LCD here has a little metal, that little gap, and I think that gap are supposed to slide it in first to remove. So like here, I'm not able to pull it out because it is still clipping down to that metal. So this one came off, that came off, and that too is still stuck underneath the metal. So to remove it, more likely I need to pull from the bottom, like slide it down so that the top would have enough room to, to come out. I think that is a situation in my case. And again, um, this laptop here looks like it was being repaired before in the past. So I can't really, t it looks like it has done it before in the past. Okay. So see if I can kind of It doesn't seem to want to come out the top part here. Just kind of pushing it down until I get enough room to pop that. All right, so I was able to remove the two part here that slide in. Now I just have to gently peel it backwards and disconnect the two cables here. So let's go ahead and Got a plastic crying too. I know I disconnect the battery, but you still want to be safe and cautious because when you use the metal and touches the pin, I think this is a 30 pin connector. And once you touches the pin, you might short circuit the, uh, the motherboard. Okay, peel the tip off. Kind of push this to the back and slide it down. And you just remove the entire LCD screen. And again, I want to point out to you is that this LCD here have this little uh, slide in gap. There are four of them, one, two, three, and four. So technically to install, you would have to slide it in first. You gotta tuck it underneath. So that would hold on to the screen. Then you can close it. So I know it's kind of difficult because you're gonna put the cable in. Once you have the cable in, you can't just put it out at the bottom to slide it in. So it's, it can be difficult to do this repair. I don't think it's that easy for, uh, for anyone to do it. Even I have a hard time. And this computer was being repaired before in the past. So definitely uh, it seems a lot easier in this video. Uh, but in reality, it can be difficult for everybody, okay? Now, um, I can see that this is the leftover tape from previously installed. And here it just kind of, uh, kind of uh, leftover tape. So what you need to have, you do need to have those um, double-sided tape. Let me see what I can show it to you. So I'll be using this five millimeter. This is a 5mm millimeter is the whiteness, the width of the tape. And you do need to tape it down on the screen, okay? So kind of tape it down on the screen so that it holds um, on the top of the, the laptop. Um, I do not have the screen with me. I can't install this. The reason why I take it apart because I really need to match the serial number making sure I buy the right screen um, by not just Googling, you know, Dell XPX P28G. I don't think they will show the right screen. I do not want to um, mislead you guys. So I need to remove uh, the screen, the broken screen to check the model here, making sure I have the right one and move on with the repair. So I can't show it to you how to install it, uh, but I'll explain to you how you should be installing it is to have the cable to put back together right while you're having it you might have to 
um, kind of pull it down like so slide it downwards I know there's not much room to slide but kind of push all the way down as far as you can just enough room for you to go in and push it back up to slide that screen going back up like that okay once you slide in then you can have enough room to push it and have the tape to secure and fasten the screen it's kind of a flaw design if you ask me but anyway um, let's jump right into it this is the model number for the screen replacement B133HAN05.B I will list them either on eBay or Amazon where you can find a replacement for that and also the um, the double-sided tape uh, for you to retape the screen back together all right i hope this video is helpful to you and if you do find the video is helpful please smash the like button for me if you haven't subscribed feel free to subscribe and again if this video helps you and you want to show appreciation i'd be very happy if you can click on that youtube super thanks youtube super thanks allow you to do donation a show of gratitude appreciation to support my work and my channel if you do not have youtube you can click on paypal uh, that works the same all right thanks for watching again i wish you luck on the repair bye now